Okay, so this is my first place locals winning uh, orange deck profile. Uh, Want to get up locals with another Bermuda deck, so decided to do another deck profile. Pretty simple. All right, so let's just get started. Okay, first off, we got the starter. Uh, you can use whatever you want. I just couldn't be bothered to take Riviera out. Uh, I would recommend a trick one, so they think you're playing something else, but it doesn't matter really. Uh, since it's orange, four orange, uh, pretty strong card. I've talked about it before. It's just a really good uh, defensive card that has kind of like a mini Luard option because it gets two forces. Um, in the this current deck, uh, it's kind of a little slow. Well, that's the consensus, which is true, but it, since the Bermuda engine is so ridiculous on grade two, you can sort of accelerate it and compensate by using the defensive capabilities to push forward. So... Make sure you bounce your normal units, and you should be good with this card. Uh, for Tirawa, uh, re-stand, re-stands a lot. I didn't know this actually re-stood, uh, if you have two, it's not once per turn, so you can have two on the sides. Uh, to get your extra force, you need to bounce four units, which can be your opponent's. Uh, use, uh, it's a little tricky to do with Tirawa. Because uh, if you want to do the full combo, you kind of want to have at least one tier we're out to have two when you call Ange. But it's not 100% required. Sometimes you don't want to discard the card for the cost of the restand on the reel. Uh, this card's kind of really good, but it's not the end all. Like I, before I even noticed that in the day, technically this this has other options to work with. So. If you're using Tirola, it's sort of your finisher. Uh, make sure they're at high damage, otherwise it's kind of not worth it. On to grade ones. Okay, this is more important than grade two, so it's kind of important to get this over with. Uh, Sedna. Uh, this is kind of the best card in the deck. You want to spam Sedna. Uh, it compresses your deck down, so you're more likely to trigger. It's also so easy to get the 5k, so... With other combos in the deck, you can sort of rely on your back row. And this build, even though I kind of threw it together, it kind of worked really well. Like, I had a theory behind it, and it actually worked out. So this is actually a really good build if you don't want to go specific routes, but uh, it all relies on your Sedna's. So uh, you'll be wanting to spam these, bounce these, throwing away Tirawas and Anjas from the deck, which compresses. You keep going like that, and eventually you're just going to be critting for a lot of damage. Which is really good when you've got a restanding rear guard like Tirawa, but there's also some other little tricks to it. Uh, you can also use it to power up weaker rear guards for extra benefits, which I'll show later. Uh, for Aurora, this card is kind of fillerish, but it cycles. You, since you can bounce it, you can recycle them. Uh, it's mostly to get combo pieces out of the deck and keep cycling through your stuff. It's a good grade one, just standard good card. Uh, last of the grade one options, this is your flex slot. Yeah, I know. Uh, it'll make sense a little later, or well, theoretically. Uh, you could have two of this, or two of this, or one of one. It's uh, a bit flexible. This one's on hit, on boost or attack, uh, put into soul and get a card, draw a card. Uh, I preferred this one just for the extra, if I was going to rebuild this deck, I'd just actually double this one up because it's an on ride one and you can cycle it to get cards out of your deck, which is also good for compressing. Uh, thing with this deck is with uh, all the on hits, they're going to have to guard anyway, which kind of speeds up Arnge, which is almost Arnge's only weakness, so... Uh, good grade ones that have on hits, uh, very welcome. On to the grade twos, which is the bread and butter of pretty much all Bermuda decks because they're so good. For Aqua, uh, 15 plus 8 is 23, 15 plus 13 with Sedna is 28. That's stupid. Uh, cycling cards on the field is stupid. This card is stupid, and how it also draws you a card, and it costs nothing, and it's on Vanguard. Uh, if you want to rush, this card is ridiculous. 
run for in an orange deck. Uh, <sighs> Fall well, there's a lot. Uh, also pretty bonkers. Uh, we're playing lots of grade twos in this deck, so this triggers a lot more on a high roll. So you call this one grade one. Uh, call grade two. You said call Aqua. You cycle. It's uh, it, this card's also stupid. Uh, you want to commit to board because you can just bounce them back with Ange between the two. You just, you're never running low hand. It makes you very tanky. Even with grade 2 spam, like you were just really tanky and you don't die. So you're kind of impervious to rush or strong against it. It's pretty good in this deck. Uh, two of what I think is the most underrated card, Miranda. Uh, searches for other grade 2s in your deck. I think this card is just sweet. Sora only has a Vanguard sw skill, but like... You can search for Lizalot. You can search for you can search for Aquas. There's this. It's really dumb. It's like having an extra one of these when you miss your your Vanguard ride. You can go on Grade One without without being scared. It's a uh, it's a really good card. I'd actually recommend it. If they damage deny you, they're damage denying a card, a deck that's basically mini Luard. You're damage denying a grind deck. That's it's not gonna work. Your opponent can't grind you out, they have to give you counter boss. If they don't, you're just going to grind them out with two fourths of the turn, they're going to die. This card gets you extra bonuses. It gets you it gets you your Lizalot and your Aqua Ride, and then it gets you your... And then it gets you a card on top of it. It's really good. And then you just toss it with your cycling, with your cycling grade ones. It's really good. I'd recommend it. Uh, this is where the deck gets wacky, but my choices may sound a little crazy, but they kind of work when you kind of do it. Uh, Free Realm. It's a vanilla 10k shield, grade 2. Why run this over grade 1s? Well, with Sedna, that's 20 free. It, if you pull it out with Ange, it's a 10k defensive that you don't have to bounce yet. You bounce it, it's 10k. It's defensive and offensive, and it goes with numbers. I was sort of doing this as a joke, but it actually came out really well because it just makes you hard to kill while also having 2k coming up a lot. Uh, you push it, you push your opponent in, and then they tr if they attack it, it's like whatever. You're a grind, you can grind, you can attack. You're defensive. This card is very simple, but if you call it a Lizalot, it's 10k free shield. It's a 10k beater on grade two and one it's it's a lot of things like it's kind of nuts how good that card actually was uh this choice is a bit meme uh instead of pearl sisters we're running uh vanilla <laughs> free 3k 2 crit uh with sedna that's on grade 2 it's 16k that's uh 10k guard uh they will guard this uh, late in the game, when you're stacking forces, a lot of forces, because you're turboing them out two at a time, this kind of becomes like a mini Luard. But you have multi-attack, and it's also getting you advantage. Like, the theory behind this was, it's kind of, like, it's more consistent than Pearl Sisters. But at the same time, you can also push out, you can also uh, have it as a defensive mechanic. It's like mini Luard. Like, I just, it's hard to explain, but this card... Uh, allows you to push numbers in and makes it kind of makes it like you're pretending like every trigger is a crit, which is really annoying when you're reversing a defensive deck like Ange. So uh, you could change this out for the Pearl Sisters if you're feeling a little more risky, but like it works. I know it's a Bethesda meme, but it works. And the triggers are just eight crit, four draw, four heal. Like uh, split it out however you want. I like to mix it up a bit to make it throw it off, but it is just the same stuff. And yeah, that's uh, that's the main deck. I'll get into combat. So, on your grade one turn, you're trying to ride this, it's on hit, draw a card. Uh, pretty annoying for the opponent, which uh, accelerates your game plan. Uh, you probably want to call this a lot. Uh, pretty standard play. But because of how the deck's built, you can call a few things like uh, the grade two intercept, which gives you a defensive option. Uh, you could call 
from a lot aqua, which means you can bounce a unit and cycle them. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty nasty. So let's just say you've gone from that. So you've gone from that sort of play, and then you're on your next turn. So what you're going to do is you're going to ride this card. Uh, if they give you damage, CB1, draw a card, and then it's like a top 7 for a grade 2 to ride. Uh, second Lizalot, or first Lizalot, uh, that's free advantage. You can also ride Aqua to bounce your previous turn, which you might probably wouldn't want to call, depending on what you wanted to do. So, that's already a plus 1, and you've already got 1 extra soul for your extra plays. Just on grade 2. Uh, in the early game, if you called Lizalot, you can call things like this to get 10k intercepts. So while you're rushing, you're never really out in the open. You're never leaving yourself open to a counter rush because you've always got defensive options. Uh, the main, you can also call this, which uh, is a free k, and you may be thinking like, ah, oh, crap, I can't do it. I can only make it like an eight. But with Sedna. You are essentially making it 16, which if they're on grade 2, that's 16 with a crit. If they get 26, it doesn't matter what trigger it is. They're probably going to guard it. That's they're, that's cards out of their hand, even though they're probably saving it for Ange. Or they're taking the hits, and then Ange is kind of lethal by calling out two Tiruas. Um Aqua Sedna is a stupid combo, because you can just be like... You can go... That, Sedna, search it, dump a tier well, call it, bounce it, do it again, call a tier, that's 28, swing 28. It's pretty nasty. Uh, when you get to grade 3, uh, you go Ange. Uh, you can bounce all this stuff back, which is useful for this. Uh, it's a little tricky to get double tier because you need to bounce 4, so I would recommend bouncing your opponents. Unless it's something that's really annoying, like an Anger Blader or a plon because you can get rid of their intercepts and then they can't they don't work from hand so if you bounce the intercepting harmony units they lose out on their defensive capabilities because they can't they have great freeze in hand instead uh as soon as you get enough forces uh these start to become 23 33 swings they damage to you then that's just force 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 and it'll be like 30 40 or you can just play this and then that's like 50 it's like 30 something, and then like bounce them all, call it that. Swing, swing, restand, restand, swing, swing, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, and because uh, when you play so many grade twos, you're constantly calling little things. Just make sure to place your sedners correctly, and the deck will have a really nasty grade two rush. And because of this, uh, you won't lose out in defense. And after a while, Ange will grind your opponent out, like, it's inevitable. And it still can one-shot, because you're eating cards because they can't let this hit. Or they, or if you don't have that, you just smother the field with grade twos. Uh, don't be afraid to call it below if you really need it and you don't want to bounce anything. Like, uh, in case they might have PGs. And, yeah, our deck's pretty simple. You just uh, have a lot of options for pressure, and because that's Ange's only weakness, it works. Also, you can build this deck for like really cheap, because all this stuff is like in the rare bracket. <laughs> there is hardly anything, like they're all promos that you get from buying a box, or triple rare, once you got these two, rare, rare, common rare, common, common, and uh... If you're looking for a deck that's actually good and will win your locals for like pocket change, this is a very viable option. And if you want to put Pearl Systems in, that's another option as well. Uh, if you want to modify this deck at all, uh, it's pretty flexible, so go ahead. Just make sure you don't follow the weakness of Ange, which is making it too slow by focusing on late game, because your early game is your strongest point, otherwise I'd say play, play Luard. But yeah, it's uh, really good, really cheap, and I'd recommend this deck as well. It's a pretty cheap season for the next three months. This is still the still the meta game, so this is a very good option. Have fun building.